I'm in Hawaii right now and I want to try the best traditional Hawaiian food. So I have a local guide who's going to take us to the best spot in town. Let's go meet him. Come on. Here we are at Helena's. I'm with my boy David right here. Hey, what's up, gang? This is the homie. He's showing us around Honolulu while we're out here. Pretty this is much. the best Hawaiian food, right? Authentic Hawaiian food right here. This oh, is the man. place to be. You can tell by the crowd. Yeah. Right now, we're going to have the most traditional Hawaiian meal possible. And then the number one pick out of traditional Hawaiian food is lao lao. Lao lao. So lao lao is like taro leaf wrapped around chicken or pork okay. with a little piece of fat and some fish in it. What's the fat for? Just to give it juices, if not, it dries out. Oh yeah, okay. So they wrap it in a tea leaf and it's kind of steamed. Oh, so nice. that's, that's lao lao. And you eat the whole leaf or do you open it up? You, you get rid of the tea leaf and you eat the green leaf okay. that's wrapped around it. Oh, so sweet. everything's edible. Good thing we all came here with very empty stomachs yeah. Yeah, because so we're gonna literally order one of everything, I think, on the menu. <laughs> Even the locals be snapping photos. <laughs> yeah, brother, you know that. Yes, sir. Just the way he speaks is the best I've ever heard, man. <laughs> did you wait, wove that hat yourself? My brother did. No way. I got one for you. I'm going to hook you up. Sick, <laughs> man. Hell yeah. Coconut. So you see this? This is uh, chili pepper water. Chili pepper water. Chili pepper water. Wow. Basically, they put it on everything you eat. Lao lao. Oh, they wow. put it on kalua pig. And then this is soy sauce. Basically, soy sauce is like number one Hawaiian staple. Every, you use it on everything. Pour it on your rice, on your chicken, on your fish, on everything. I do love my soy sauce, so let's get it, man. You guys gotta go check out David on Instagram. He's a freaking legend. Honestly, can, we sh can I show your finger? Look at this, y'all. He had the gnarliest accident. He was doing a, a surf cross, which is like surfing and super cross, and he was riding a motorcycle, and another motorcycle landed on top of him and literally just chopped his finger off. You're a beast, man. Lucky to be alive, though, you know? Yeah, of course. I think what we're gonna do is just have David order everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go for it, order whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it is, just order it all. I'm looking at this menu and I'm like, I have no idea what any of this is, but we're gonna try everything today. Sister, you guys you guys sell the kind of beers up here? No more no beers, beers huh? Only soda. Thank you. I love it, <laughs> the way you talk, man. Like, it almost sounds like a, another language for, for a quick moment, so then I hear certain words I know. I call that pi pigeon English. Pigeon English. Legally made it a language. Really? Yeah. It's called pigeon language. Yeah, pigeon English. Yeah. Oh, pigeon English. Yeah. So, there, so like everybody in, the, in your town where you grew yeah. up speaks like that. That's it. And then certain areas you go, it's a little thicker. Thicker? Like, if I talk to somebody and he's speaking super low out, do you adapt and like, yeah, totally. you start doing it too? I can lay it on. Before the food gets here, I'm gonna take over Jake's job because he's not here, so let's go to the bathroom. And this is Brandon's Bathroom Review! Okay guys, so like I said, Jake's not here. I gotta take over his position for the day, so I hope you guys will go easy on me. I'm not usually reviewing bathrooms, so let's check it out. First things first, Automatic, that's nice because you don't have to touch anything. I will say though, this is getting a little overflowed, but hey, you know, they like to keep their restrooms clean. So, either way, you got basically everything you need here. You know, you got your toilet. It's nice, it's clean. I honestly could sit on that toilet seat and not worry about getting any kind of infections on my ass. They got a sink. It's your pretty basic bathroom. If you need to sweep something up, you're good there. You got extra rolls of toilet paper, honestly. It's a, it's a decent bathroom. I like that they have this up here to keep the air fresh. The smells sweet, even though sometimes it's not always sweet when you go to the restroom. Either way, that's the bathroom. Let's get back out there before the food comes. Come on. Right. Food's coming. How are we doing today, guys? Doing good, doing, doing good. good. All right, did you guys all eat here before? First time. I have. These guys first time, but. Okay. Okay. You gonna explain everything. Yeah, so this is the chicken long rice. With some green Thank onion you. on top. This is lomi salmon, with salmon, onions, uh, tomato. This is the kalbi ribs, which is the number one popular, uh, most popular thing here at Helena's. Kalua pig, 
We have luau, number one Hawaiian staple, poi, kalua pig. This is the okihi, which is a shell that's stuck on a rock in the ocean. It's a deli local delicacy. Local delicacy. And then that's like escargot. Huh. And this is all the fish, ahi, with seaweed. Hey guys, so this is my plate right here. It honestly looks beautiful. Everything on here, I'm ready to enjoy. I'm gonna grow up. It's our first time having Hawaiian food. Look, look at those eyes. <laughs> Is it good? Okay. And you, you know what we say? You know what we say in Hawaii when it's good? What? Oh, bra. Oh, no. Oh, bra. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I'm going to start with the salmon over here. Salmon with the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, man. That was a oh, no. That is so good. Good. It's yeah. like the Hawaiian, um, the Hawaiian version of like a pico de gallo in a way. Yeah. But it has salmon in it. So good. All right, I'm gonna try this pig. So this is how they cook this one probably in like the earth oven, right? Yeah, in okay. the emu underground for about, you know, six to eight hours. Oh, wow. Yeah. Go for it. Oh my God, it's so juicy and delicious, man. Wow. Mm. We've been missing out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we should have been eating uh, wine food a long, like the whole trip. Okay, next thing I want to try that's really catching my eye is the pokey with the escargot. Mm, oh, you. look at this, y'all. Look at this. So we got a fried butterfish. Ooh. Oh, man. That's the one, man. Go for it. Yeah, mix it up. So the escargot is a little crunchy. Mm, the yeah. Opihi. Crunchy, but the you can taste the ocean in it. Yeah. And then the, the tuna is just so, like, smooth. And you literally just swallow it. You don't even need to chew it. Yeah, buttery. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's good stuff. Go for it. Oh, it's a little delayed reaction. Local barbecue, you know, backyard barbecue. Once you get past like the crunchy outer part, the meat inside so good. So you mix it with the poi. So the poi, the way you go about doing the poi. Oh, dude, this is next level. You're right, it is the best one. Let's order three more of those. So, you know, the poi, you kind of soup it up like that. The poi is real bland, so what I do is I go like this. I'll grab the poi and I just dip it in there that way because the opihi is salty with yeah. the ocean water. I mix it with the poi that's bland. And that's the way you do it? Ooh. Oh no, bro. Oh yeah, oh no. Can you answer this? Why Like, why do you guys eat poi if it's just bland? Is it just to mix it with other things? Like, does it have any nutritional benefits? It does, it does. It's actually really good for you. Um, comes, it's like a potato, it's a starch, oh, okay. so protein, you know, uh, good for your body. Nice natural, they've been growing this uh, on the east side, the taro fields. Yeah, it literally just looks like some kind of like blueberry yogurt. Yeah, taste it, it's real bland. Some people like to put sugar in it, but that's... I'm gonna try it with the escargot, here we go. Mm. Yeah, it's very bland. It's, it's very starchy. Mm -hmm. Like it's just it's just a, a thing in your mouth. It doesn't really have any flavor at all. But it, it was it's interesting to try. It's an acquired taste. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> is an acquired taste. It's not something that you just want to eat a bowl of. Put a little bit of that squid blue on your rice. With scoop it out with that and give that a taste. It's kind of trippy, but it tastes it tastes good though. Good. Coconut. You do? I can smell it. Yeah, it tastes good. I, I love how like in Hawaii you guys have your own like style. You have your own slang. You uh -huh. have everything, and it's just like it's what it is, you know. And yeah. you guys enjoy it. I like that because back home, like you don't really see stuff like this, you know. Oh, traditional Hawaiian food. I'm gonna try. It. Here we go. Mmm, that's I'll nice. Good, huh? Yeah, not bad at all. It actually like makes the rice have some kind of taste. Yep. Usually rice is just pretty plain. It'll and that's why the Do you rice... you put soy sauce on it too? Sometimes you could if, if you know, because the rice is so bland and the poi is so bland. Yeah. It's like a chaser for all the other stuff. Uh, so you could put this on like everything. Yeah. Oh, Basically. sick. Depends what you like. And then this this is also really good. This butterfish. Yeah. This oh. stuff is interesting. It literally looks like jellyfish tentacles. That's actually my favorite. Really? Yeah. I like chicken long rice because 
You don't get too filled up eating it. Mm. And it's tasty. Yeah, it's very light. Ginger, mm -hmm. onion. But the chicken's even tasty and juicy in there, too. Yeah. They boil it. Mm. Everything's boiled down like a soup. That's how it has the it keeps the flavor. It's not getting dry. That's really good. Everything has just so much flavor in its own aspects. You know what I mean? Like, but it's all good together at the same time. Wow. And then the main guy, the lao lao and the watercress as well. That's huge oh, yeah. too. I gotta clear my plate a little bit before I go. That's why I said try a little bit. Yeah. Out. All the flavors are so mm. different. You don't want to mix them all together. You want to try right. each a little bit. That way you get the true. A hundred percent. And I will say I just ha mixed the pig with the long rice. Next level. Yeah. Like if it was me eating alone, I grab all that lomi salmon, throw it right in the koi, and that fish, and just eat it like really? cereal. Oh my God. <laughs> and then when it comes to this, you just eat it the same way you would eat the rib, right? You just go and do it skin and all? Yeah, I thought it was something made up, but... Oh. I guess we're gonna find out, guys. Here we go. Yeah, no. Mmm. Wow. Fried butterfish, bro. So good. That's nice. Butterfish is like black cod. I normally wouldn't eat the skin. Like normally, you, like when you're eating fish, normally you just take the skin off. But the skin adds like a, a crunchy layer. It's almost like fried chicken in a way. Totally. You know, it gives you that solid crunch, and it's actually really tasty. So since the fish is a little salty and oily, I mix it with a bland boy, and it just comes together really nice. It, it does. Mix a little bit. In there. Try it when you take the bite. I mix the boy in there. Mm. And it tones it, uh -huh. it, it tones the saltiness now. So different from everything else. Yeah, and then the way it comes out too. It doesn't come out on huge platters, and they're not trying to match their little cups that are holding it. <laughs> they just like send it out how it is, but they have such good food that they that doesn't matter how it's presented. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward, you know. Presentation is as simple as it gets. That's it. You know, it's all about the quality exactly. of food. Exactly, and the quality is there. I try to eat healthy. That's why I like the long rice best because uh, it doesn't bog you down, it doesn't right. fill you up. It's good for you, you know? And then you said, and this right here. That's the main one, that's the lao lao. This is the lao lao and there's meat inside. You honestly wouldn't even be able to tell if you looked at it right there. It honestly just looks like a whole bunch of leaves, but let's go for it. Oh, look pork, pork at that. Water As I cut it, look at all that meat in there. Oh, God. The I'm gonna one. try some lao lao right now. That's let's the main go for one. it. So that is the number one Hawaiian food right there is lawa. Mm. You gotta put some chili pepper water on your lao lao leaf. Should I like shake it up or does it not matter? Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it'll come out when you pour it. Okay. It kind of juices the leaves up. The yeah. Leaf. Here we go. And it gives you a little zip when you Ooh. eat it too. Yeah, a little spice. Yeah. A little tongue burner. But not too much. It's not too crazy. That's nice. And the meat inside is so tender and soft, also it just dissolves. So local people, they come, they, they do shots of that thing, they love it, yeah. This thing has as much nutritional value as spinach and all the other stuff, so it's the same thing. And this, grow, this grows naturally on the island, Naturally, right? so. Where does it grow at? Like in the, in the jungles or is it like closer to the beach? So Waihole Poi Factory, that's where they grow it. They, they grow it in the mountains, in wetland. They have dry land nice. taro as well. That's awesome. So the taro leaf, is what basically comes from the taro plant and that's taro this is the leaf so you eat the whole plant oh wow so nothing goes to waste nothing that's amazing thank you for taking us here man this is lit opened my palate to all, all new flavors that i've never had thank you very much for inviting me of course man <laughs> honestly mix the pig with the long rice oh, yeah. that's where that's now that's something you gotta have the thing that i like is like they're it's just like you're not gonna get over full, you know what I mean? Cause it's just like, everything is in like the right portion size. I mean, look at it, all this served three people. But imagine like when local people come here, they'll eat all of this themselves and the other guy would order the same. Really? That's probably me here. That's why local people are being. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. You know what's interesting is like, when you go to certain places, like for example, the, pine, the Hawaiian pizza has pineapple on it, but we're eating real Hawaiian food and I don't see a single piece of pineapple <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> So what does that say to you guys? That's for the tourists though. Right? <laughs> Usually these guys, they get the onion like this, and they go like this. It's they just, dunk it in the salt. Yeah, like real, just, you know, dab it in. Oh man, you just eat onion like that. So Salty is that onion. why all the Hawaiian's breath stay? Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. We're gonna dip it in some salt, and we're gonna go for it. Mmm. 
Mm. Don't deny it, bro. That's actually pretty good. Sure. Ooh, then that pungent uh, onion yep. taste comes out after. Salt and onion, mm -hmm. and then but that, that's why you kill it with the chaser. Ooh, know, yeah, I can see why you would you know? need something like that. Uh huh. So you tone it down with mm. the food. There we go. Yeah. And it all marries together. Because it's strong when you first yeah. go in. Like that'll make your nose start dripping. Oh yeah. Uh huh. You know, after you get in wine paralysis from eating too much, you're like put in a coma. <laughs> yeah. Eat that. And Wakes you back up. Out too. You should have like a breaking case of coma and it's like just an onion with some salt. <laughs> Look at this. This is, this is how the locals do it. How the locals do it. Pour it all up in there. Anyway, mix it up like that. Grab a little bit of lao lao too. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Show us how it's done, man. So you mix them all like that. Up, up. And you just go for it. Damn. <laughs> Like, like we say in Hawaii, broke the mouth, bro. What does that mean? That means so good. It broke the mouth? Broke the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That was so good, it broke the mouth. <laughs> okay, so what was this? What is this called? That's hao pia. It's basically like coconut pudding. It's like coconut mix, you know? Pretty much. Mmm. Right? It's, it's subtly sweet, but like really you taste the coconut now. Pudding cube. That's cool. I like Gelatin, that. Gelatin, right? Yeah, literally. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah. Do it again? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. shake that ass, girl. Mmm. <laughs> That's nice. Right? Refreshing. Yeah, it really is refreshing. That would be like nice on like, almost instead of like a popsicle, just give yeah. me a cube of that and I'll eat it in the sun. On a hot day, oh, man. bring them out. Anybody want some hot here? Like, yeah, throw a cube it's, in just, your mouth. it's really refreshing, just like you said. Oh man. Okay, so the check is here. Let's see the damage. And it is all that food for just 87 bucks. Honestly, that's a steal. Three of us came in starving, and three of us are leaving full as ever. So that's an 87 bucks well spent. All right, y'all. So my hat is pretty cool. You guys can pick one up at BrennanTaylor.com. But it's time to get rid of this hat. I want something new. Right there, brother. Right there, brother. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. All right, y'all. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Don't mess around. Pick up some merch, BrennanTaylor.com. Support the channel, y'all. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to pick up merch. At least subscribe. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. I love y'all. I got I to gotta take a nap. I I'm full. I'll see ya. I'm falling for the girl next door. Been through hell and back, that's why she don't get attached. I'm falling for the girl next door. I'm falling for the girl next door. Everybody 